Hi heathens! Today's video is going to be another one where I just take the makeup I've been wearing all day long and we just bring it up a notch. I labeled the last video that I did from this, did like this, from day to damn, but that sounds kind of stupid. So I need y'all to help me come up with a, like, concept name, I guess, is the best way I know to describe it, where when I do these kinds of videos, it can, like, have the same name, and then maybe I can make, like, a playlist or something where there are all of these, like, I've been wearing this all day, let's make it, I don't want to say better, but let's change it, like, without taking off the full face. So I'm currently wearing the, um, Lancome Tint Idol Glow Serum Foundation or something like that. I just completely butchered that name, I'm sure. I have mascara on and a little bit of highlighter. So we are going to be doing different highlighter, uh, eyeshadow, blush, and bronzer. So I'm actually going to start with the bronzer. And I tried to get some items that I haven't really used a whole lot. So I grabbed the Kimchi Chic uh, Taylor Bronzer in number one. I went to Malibu. I literally just had it open and now I can't open it. There we go. It's like a super nice soft brown. So I'm going to take this um, Faro brush. It is a Cheeky End 218. I'm just going to tap in a little bit. There is some kickback but nothing major. And I'm just going to take this around the side of my face and then up against the hairline. Once again, sorry if you can see the, um, whoo, I'm a little heavy handed there. The scab on my head. We're just not going to talk about that. I really need to find an office friendly kind of like fidget item. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know because my nervous habit of picking my lip has devolved into picking my head. And you know, that's not exactly, I mean, it's not as immediately noticeable, but it doesn't necessarily make it the better option. Um, but I don't know how to, like, stop completely, so I need something else to keep my hands busy. I'm going to try using this Morphe R14 brush. I'm sure this is definitely not for blush, but that's what I'm going to be using it for. This is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in Sensual. But yeah, I need something. I've tried like the little, um, I'm sure there's plenty of them and I don't know the brand of the one I tried, but it's like a little dye and each side has a different like mechanism to it. Like one has a little roller bit, one has like a joystick, um, one has little buttons that you can kind of click in and then they pop right back out and that one just didn't really work for work. I think I need something more akin to like the fidget rings that you see where you can just like spin them. I don't know. I need to do a little bit of digging to see what other people are using and enjoying because some of them just seem like I don't want to say a gimmick because I'm sure there are people that it helps, but I, I know are not going to work for me. Like the, um, bubble ones, like that kind of look like bubble wrap, but you can pop it both ways. Those look interesting, but I know at work, that's not going to be what I reach for. That's not going to help distract my brain. Let me show you this blush and bronzer up close before I forget. Uh, 
Um, so that's something I've been trying to look into is just like what I can possibly use or get. Uh, for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Black Light Highlight 6 Color Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is definitely one that I have been using a little bit more recently, but I thought that ugh, this color down here, Strobe, might be good for this. Um, I don't know how white it is. Like, obviously in the pan it looks pretty white, but I don't think I've ever used that one. And if I have, I just don't recall what it looks like. So I'm just cleaning this brush off, trying to make sure there's no glitter on it because a lot of my highlighters have glitter. And then I'm going to tap in. And uh, obviously I have a little bit of highlighter on. This is the Ulta one that I feel like I'm always wearing when I film. But that's because that's one of the highlighters that is in my bathroom and that's where I typically get ready for work. So it just happens to be one that is within immediate reach when I'm getting ready. And it's a really pretty highlighter. I'm not saying like I only reach for it because it's there. Because I do have other ones there and this tends to be the one that I reach for the most. Look at that. That's really pretty. So it's a good highlighter but I feel like I'm always talking about it even though I'm not using it on camera for y'all. All right, now for eyes, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Set in Stone little palette. I've had this for a good minute and I don't think I've used it at all. Yeah, it does not look touched. Still had the little plastic bit in it. It's just such a pretty palette. It definitely leans a little more warm. Is that a cream? I think Rock Solid might be like a primer cream shadow. Can anyone advise me on that? Oh yeah, that's definitely not a powder. Interesting. Does it say anything about that on the back? No. Huh. Okay. I'm going to take some of that and put it over my lids because you know, we're going to see if it works like a primer. So I'm just going to take my finger and like wiggle it around. And put that on my lids. Um, this one leans a little bit more warm, but it is still neutrals, and so I want to give it a shot because I really like ColourPop. I really like their shadows in general, and I feel like this look just needed a nice neutral eye. But like I said, I wanted to try to reach for some stuff that I don't reach for as often, or in this case, apparently have never reached for. I'm going to take a super fluffy SL Miss Glam brush and tap in first to gravel. And we're just going to, ooh, a lot of kickback. We're just going to use that to kind of set the like creamy shade that I just put down. How are y'all doing? I've been having a weird week, y'all. And I feel like maybe it's one of those weeks that everyone's having a weird week. I don't know if that happens in your life, but to me it feels like sometimes everyone around me is having a weird week too. Like there's just something going on. That blended up phenomenally. Not that I expected anything less from ColourPop, but that was like really quick. Okay, let's go in with Igneous, I think is how you pronounce that one. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm kind of skipping a middle shade and going straight in with a deeper shade. Again, same brush. I'm just gonna pick some up and tap onto the outer half and corner and then gently bring that up into the crease. Not my favorite look right off, but it's not bad. 
feel like maybe I should have gone in with a second color, but it's fine. We're already here. It's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Do the same thing on the other eye. Just patting that in. Ooh, I turned the brush. I have an early morning tomorrow. And I'm really not looking forward to it because I'm always so tired when I first wake up. And it's going to be cold. And the heat in my car doesn't want to work. So I'm going to have to go out there and scrape frost off my car if it freezes over during the night. And I'm just not looking forward to this at all. Now for the shimmer. I already know which shimmer for sure I want to go in with. And that's Hammer Time right here. Ooh. Yeah. That's really nice. Okay. Let's get... <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, that's really pretty. I gotta say, I think some of my favorite shimmers come from ColourPop. I'm going to take that same finger, tap back in. Make the weird mouth shape that clearly helps me put on shadow and mascara. Got a little bit more on the first eye, so I'm going to go back in. And tap that down. very pretty okay now I want to go back into the highlighter palette for my inner corner because I want to take Electra with my pinky and use that for my inner corner so I'm just tapping in and then tapping that into the corner here I think that looks nice. Now all we need is lips and I will be done. Let's go for, let's go for a little gloss. This is the, or oil, I guess. This is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. And we're just gonna put a little bit of this on. too much. I forgot that this is like really sensitive when you squeeze it. it. Tastes so good. You really shouldn't be eating it, but it tastes really good. So just in case you do get some in your mouth, it's not bad. But this is my finished, upgraded, adjusted, whatever. I wore most of this all day makeup look. Let me know your thoughts down below, especially if you have an idea of what I could call this series. I don't know. Um, otherwise, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.